Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. But to what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to one another. We played the flute for you and you did not dance. We wailed and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking and they say, he has a demon. The son of man came eating and drinking and they say, look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. At the time Jesus said, I thank you for the Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent, and have revealed them only to the infant. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have ha been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Father except through the Son, and no one knows the Father except through the Son. And anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him, come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Please be seated. Are there any kids this morning that would like to come and see me? Maybe? 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 Maybe so? Oh, look, it's George and George. And Georgette. Good morning. How are you guys this morning? Oh, you'll have to sit down, baby, if you don't want to. We're going to stand up today. Feeling strong? Just now, I look at his cross. Oh, that's a nice looking one. Isn't that a nice looking one? Oh, there she be! Da, 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 da. <laughs> I love it. You guys feeling strong? Did you eat your Wheaties this morning? What? You didn't eat any Wheaties this morning? How about some spinach? Yeah, how about my arms? <laughs> you ate something, but I'm not sure what it is. But I think we all would like to have some of it. What did you have for breakfast? Chocolate donuts. Oh, that's pretty good, too. Did you have chocolate donuts, too, George? No. Oh. Well, what did you have? You didn't have any breakfast. <laughs> That's all right, I didn't either. <laughs> all right, so who thinks they're the strongest? Combination. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay, turn around. We got some chores to do. Give me an arm. What'd you do to your elbow? Um, fell down on cement. You fell on cement? Yes. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Are you good? Yeah. Is that heavy? <laughs> Is it a little heavy? Well, it's falling off you. Well, let's try you, George. Let's see. Put your arm in there. Okay, how about you? Are you good with it? Yeah. Okay, we're going to go walking. Here, let me carry the heavy one. Okay, you going to help me carry the heavy one? Okay. Oh, it's so heavy. Do you think you can carry it? It's so heavy. See how heavy it is? <laughs> you what? This isn't heavy? Oh, you're going to help him? Then it feels less heavy, huh? Because that looks like the really heavy one. Oh, that's the lightest? So you guys think this one's kind of heavy? Okay, let's try this one. Is this one heavier? Which one's heavier? This one? This one. Oh, this one? And you don't want to carry it? Because, like, you guys could walk all the way home with it. Would you like to do that? I could easily do it. 
And you, George, you could easily do it too.
He really meant, you know, those really good people who do really good things. And, and, and that's not me, so I'm pretty sure that um, Jesus doesn't mean me. Well, <clears throat> let's finish reading Jesus' invitation. Come to me, and I will give you rest. All of you who work so hard beneath a heavy yoke. Now in that part of our invitation, I don't hear that invitation saying this. If you haven't been to church, if you use naughty words or have bad thoughts, if you love someone others think you shouldn't, if you behave in unconventional ways, or whatever you think excludes you, you aren't welcome to come. <coughs> well, I don't hear that in that invitation anywhere. In fact, I hear the opposite in that invitation. Your yoke may be heavier for you because you may be feeling Jesus is for everybody but me. Who would want to carry my horrible yoke? Certainly not God's son. But hear this this morning, my brothers and my sisters in Christ. Jesus carried the heaviest burden of all. Jesus carried the cruelest, most frightening yoke there will ever be just for you. Jesus carried to the cross and into, de the, into death for you this yoke, this yoke of cruelty just for you. So you will not have to carry that burden. Our invitation continues saying, wear my yoke, for it fits perfectly. Have you ever had anything fit perfectly? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> But it was really funny because when I was writing this last night, I was also watching Say Yes to the Dress. <coughs> yes, my intellectual television show. <laughs> and it was so funny because the bride would come out and she would go, Oh, my sight, this is perfect. This fits perfect. And I thought, wow, you are lucky. <laughs> I ain't never had anything fit me perfect. <laughs> But apparently when you're a bride, it fits perfectly. So because well, we don't seem to have anybody who knows what it feels like to have something fit perfectly, I guess I won't ask you how it felt to have something fit you perfectly. And I won't ask you how did it make you feel that something fit perfectly. I'll tell you for these brides that said it was perfect, they were out of this world full of joy. Yeah. And that's what it feels like when we carry Jesus' yoke on us instead of carrying that big, heavy burden of a yoke that we tend to keep with us forever. It's so easy and light to wear Jesus' yoke, and at times you may not even realize you're wearing it. Wearing this lighter yoke of Jesus opens us up <coughs> for, the more, for more of the invitation that we hear this morning. Let me teach you. When we no longer carry this burdensome yoke, we can open ourselves and embrace the mission field God calls us outside of these walls and doors to do. We can be the disciples Christ calls us to be. I think carrying Jesus' lighter yoke feels like what a caterpillar feels like when it escapes the confines of that cocoon and it starts to break open and soon the butterfly's wings begin to stretch and dry out <laughs> and soon he is a full-fledged butterfly ready to take on air and this beautiful butterfly has now become the creature that God intended it to be and when we no longer carry a heavy yoke we too get to be like that butterfly and be free from those chains of that yoke that kept us down. And we can go out to be 
the butterfly God called us to be. And finally, our invitation this morning invites us into rest. You shall find rest for your souls. Rest! Oh, a beautiful idea, a very difficult concept for many. I can't rest, there's so much to do. I can't rest, so many people depend on me. I can't rest, because in resting, I will have to face all that scares me, all those things that keep me up at night. I cannot rest, not even in Jesus. And Jesus says, come to me, and I will give you rest, all who work beneath a heavy yoke. This morning, I invite you in your silent prayers to ask God to take that yoke off of you so that you truly can become the beautiful child of God that he has called us to be.